So this is a new in search of bike from Mason Cycles. Um, so basically it's designed for events such as the Tour Divide and long distance touring. Um, so I'm sponsored by Mason, as you may or may not know, and I've been lucky enough to have quite an influence on this bike. So this bike is designed for long distance off-road touring and races such as Tour Divide where you don't necessarily need a proper mountain bike with suspension. Um, <clears throat> So the idea for this came um, when I was travelling down America. Uh, I was on the Mason Boca and I was just really heavily loaded up. So I'm, in my mind I imagined a bike which could be used for long distance touring, take a bit more kind of luggage, extra mounts, extra capacity for extra water and things like that. And that was kind of cemented when I went into the, um, the Baja Desert to do the Baja Divide route um, on 47 mil tyres and I didn't have enough capacity for water. And basically it was a disaster. Um, so that's when I had the conversation with Dom who is the owner and designer at Mason Cycles and we came up with this. So as I've already said it's not really a mountain bike as such. It's designed for off-road riding and it will take on mountain bike trails but it's designed to be a little bit faster. Um, you can have a nice drop bar position in the wind uh, but also it's got clearance for like 2.4 tyres. So if you look at the back here you can see there's loads and loads and loads of room. And I'm, I'm going to use these uh, WTB Nano tyres, which are 2.1 for Tour Divide. And um, the reason I wanted loads of clearance is because certain sections of the Divide route, if it rains, can be really sticky. So I wanted loads of space for mud to be able to clear around the frame and the tyre. But also it gives you an option to run a 2.4 for more off-road trails, or for example the Baja Divide where it's real sandy. Or you could even run a 650 plus wheel and like a 3 inch tyre, so you could even take on a snow race if you wanted to. So that might be a plan one day. So the frames Custom did actually steal. Uh, this is actually a prototype frame or a sample frame. Um, so my actual divide bike will have some paint on it and as do the production bikes. This looks cool but it, it wouldn't last too long before it starts corroding. Um, as you can see it's boost spacing to give the extra clearance and therefore a boost uh, bottom bracket width. Um, so it's slightly wider than normal but it gives you a lot of advantages. And then the custom fork here with extra mounting points you can get specific racks that Mason make and loads of bottom mounts on the side so you should be able to carry loads and loads and loads of stuff with you um, or none at all if you wanted. So for Tour Divide I will probably run a full size frame pack, water on the fork leg and then a small saddle pack. So the bars I've fitted are these Ritchie uh, Ventura Max I think they're called. Uh, I've run them for a while on my Boca for cyclocross and bikepacking and general touring. I really love them. Um, and if I'm honest, I only brought them because I could get them cheap, but uh, it was a good choice. I really, really do rate those. Um, and then I've got the Force One by Group set on there with a Boost um, Truvative Dub Boost chain set, and then the standard Force One by gearing at the back. I've actually got a 38 on them on here at the moment because I've got a beach race to do, uh, but that'll be probably probably 34 or 36 for the Divide. Um, just need to figure that one out still. So that's the new Mason ISO. I'm now going to release it into the wilds of Cambridgeshire. Stuff about Tour Divide, just follow the channel, and uh, yeah, should have some more big rides coming soon.